In this video, we will use the Symmetry tool in Procreate to create a Doodle-inspired illustration. This video is a simple introduction to the tool and can be expanded and elaborated on based on your interests. The project should take about 30 minutes to complete. Feel free to copy what I do or adapt it to make it your own. You can use the chapter markers in the video to assist your viewing if needed. Let's get started. How to draw a symmetrical doodle in Procreate. First, we should decide what animal or insect we should draw. I'm going to draw a cat. First, I'm going to find a photo from online. Since we will use the symmetry tool, we want to find a photo that is face on and at eye level. Once you find an image you like, simply tap and hold and select add to photos. I'm also going to search for cat zentangles or cat doodles for inspiration. Again, to save an image, simply tap and hold and select add to photos. All these saved images will appear in the Photos app. Now that I have some images saved, let's open up Procreate. The first thing we want to do is create a new file or document. We do this by clicking the plus sign here in the top right corner. I'm going to select square, but you're welcome to choose A4 or something else if you wish. Our document opens and the main tool we will first use is color. I'm just going to select black. We also have the Layers panel here, the Eraser tool, and our brushes or pens. I'm going to go into Inking and use the Studio Pen. On the left here is a slider that changes the size of our brush. We also have the Back Arrow or Undo button here to erase the last mark or marks we've made. We have another slider here that is for opacity, but we're not going to need it for this task. When using a brush or pen, your Apple Pencil is also pressure sensitive. The harder or lighter you press, the thicker or thinner your line will be. If you are having a hard time creating a consistent line, tap on the brush you are using and the settings option will appear. You can adjust your streamline amount and adjust the stabilization. You can test out the setting by drawing in this test area. Click Done when ready. The first thing we need to do is place one of the photos we saved from before so that we can trace over it. Go to the Actions tab or the Wrench icon. Select Add, Insert a Photo. Tap which photo you will use. Then at the bottom, select Fit to Canvas. You can also drag these corner anchor points if you wish to make the photo larger or smaller. I'm going to pinch my two fingers together off to the side to decrease my paper size. You can use this green circle here at the top if you wish to rotate, but I don't recommend it for this task. Once satisfied with the placement, deselect the blue arrow at the top to set the image. We will next go into the layers area and press this letter N. We will lower the opacity so it will be easier to trace. We will also press the plus sign to add a new layer. This will be the layer we draw on. Since this layer is selected, we will then go into Actions or the Wrench tool. Select the Canvas option and below that, turn on Drawing Guide and then Edit Drawing Guide. Some additional options will appear and we are going to select Symmetry. I'm going to increase the thickness and increase the opacity so the symmetry line is easier to see. If you look at the very top, you see this colorful line. Here you can just press or tap the color of the line you prefer. Since I'm drawing in black, I'm going to select something around red. Click Done when ready. Now I'm going to go back into the layer that has the cat photo. I'm then going to tap this arrow tool at the top right and move the center of the cat onto the symmetrical line. I'm also going to increase the photo size a bit more. Once satisfied, tap the blue arrow again to set it. Go back into your Layers panel and select the blank drawing layer we previously created. I'm also going to double check and tap on the brushes to make sure I'm using Inking Studio Pen. So basically there is a line down the middle that will act kind of like a mirror. What I draw on one side will also appear on the other. I think I'm now ready to actually start. To zoom in or out, simply pinch in or out with two fingers. I'm going to start off by drawing the nose. Don't hesitate to keep retrying to get it right. When I trace this circular eye, you see my line is a little wobbly. 
If you draw a circle and then hold your pen in place, Procreate will fix it for you. While it's holding the pen, you can also drag it to increase or decrease its size. To fill in a drawn shape, simply drag the color from the top right into it. You need to make sure though that the shape is closed, otherwise the color will spill out into your entire frame. Now I'm simply going to trace the other areas of the cat and speed up the video process. Now that the basic elements of the cat are drawn, I'm going to go into the Layers panel and turn off the photo by unclicking this box. To start adding the doodle elements, I'm going to go over some lines and play with the line weight or thickness. A good doodle will have a good balance between positive and negative space. I'm going to start adding lines into main areas and then fill these areas with line work or patterns. If you get stuck on how to fill in your animal, feel free to refer to the saved images from earlier. I'm going to go to the Actions tab or the Wrench and click Add Insert a Photo. Here I can quickly look at my photos to get ideas. I'll click Cancel when done. I'll speed up the video again, filling in the different sections. When drawing these arches around the eyes, similar to drawing a circle, if I hold the pen at the end, Procreate will smooth in the curve for me. So I think I'll stop at this stage as this tutorial is just for learning purposes. To save our drawing, go to Actions and select Share and JPEG. It will then prepare for export. Then click Save Image and it will be saved in the Photos app. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you found it helpful and gained some insights. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, or leave a comment or suggestion below. This has been a Video Production. Boo.